good evening so we are going to make our elevation so particularly we're going to make our front elevation so the first thing that you're going to do is to refer to the floor plan that you have already made so i have here my sample floor plan so this is now the front elevation so this is the uh, side where we are going to start drawing our uh, presentation so the measurement of the floor plan that i have is eight centimeters so therefore you're going to make your uh, horizontal line first so i already have my horizontal line here so this will be our natural grid line or the original contour of the uh, lot or the uh, uh, the original contour then you will be drawing vertical line and this will be the reference where we're going to start the measurement which is eight centimeter so in your paper using one is to 100 scale you're going to measure eight centimeter so i already have here my eight centimeter then draw vertical line now with regards to my presentation i have decided that i am going to measure 0.5 centimeter elevation so this will be the thinnest floor line of the structure that i am going to build so and when you will be presenting your ngl it should be a very dark line because this represents the original contour of the area or the lot area now as for the 0.5 centimeter or 0.5 meter that i have drawn here this will represent the finished floor line or the flooring of the building that we i am going to build i will be or you will be representing this using invisible line because this line or this elevation cannot be seen outside the building so from this location this will be your ffl or what we call as the finest floor line so from your ffl the standard measurement for a one-story residential building is three cent uh, three meters so this is now the three meters draw horizontal line then as for the pitch of the roof or the height of the roof i have decided that i am going to use two meters or in the traditional way of identifying or indicating the height of the roof it should be the width of the building divided by six but uh, nowadays we are not using that because of the new trend of the building sometimes there are what we call as high pitch roof so i have here my two meters then i will be using gable roofing as for the design of my roof so automatically i am going to find the center which is four centimeters uh, four meters then after that i am going to connect this line or this point to the edge of the building on the selling line so that i can identify or determine the slope of my roof then on the other side right side the same then as for the abes so spelled as okay this is from 80 
me uh, centimeters to 1.2 meter so i am going to use one meter uh, so right side as well as the left side this is now the apes of the roof that i am going to make okay now for the fascia board from uh, fascia board is the wooden portion of the roof which will protect from protect your structure or the roofing from strong winds so or uh, rain from getting inside your structure so this is uh, point 30 or 12 inches so this one is connected to the edge of the building where you have marked your so this is now the eggs so if you're going to so this is now your roof representation or roofing representation so with regards to the Visayan term for the apes I'm sorry guys I do not know what is the Visayan term maybe your father knows what is this so you will, you will just explain as for this portion we're going to uh, prov uh, provide our reads rule so you may find a slot in your circular template where you can uh, make the ridge rule which will uh, pro appropriate which is appropriate to your structure okay so this is the skeleton of the your residential building